Hi, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go, and this is the uh, Karaku Blue or Algami Number no. One Santoku 165 millimeter knife. So this knife is uh, constructed in a three-layer fashion, and what it has is Algami Blue Paper Number no. One Reactive High Carbon Steel for the core cutting edge steel. You can see peeking out right here at the edge. Here's the cladding. Uh, it also has a soft iron reactive cladding that has what's known as a Kuda Uchi or KU finish on it, protective finish. Uh, and uh, it also has a food safe lacquer finish on top of that on the whole blade that will wear away as you start to use it. So uh, this knife is all reactive. There's no stainless or semi stainless on it. So use it, clean it, dry it and put it away and don't let it sit wet and you should be fine. It will gain a patina over time. Uh, the weight and dimensions on these can vary a little bit from knife to knife. Uh, the heat treat on this uh, uh, Aogami number one is approximately 62 Rockwell, so a good balance of uh, hardness and uh, ease of sharpening. Uh, this steel will get just as sharp as you can possibly get it with your skill level, and it will hold a razor sharp edge. The weight on this one is pretty light. It's 125 grams or 4.4 ounces. Edge length is right about 170, uh, 6.7 inches from tip to the back of the heel. And then the overall length is about 310 millimeters from the tip to the back, or 12.2 inches. The spine thickness, these are fairly thick coming out of the handle, but then they thin out pretty quickly into the knife. So I got about 3.7 millimeters thick on the spine at the back. And then about halfway down, I got about 2 millimeters. And it pretty much holds that, um, even maybe gets slightly thicker towards the tip here. But then we get the grind, which starts right there. You can see that grind down to the edge. And... So the tip's not super skinny, but it thins out pretty good towards the very tip there. So it should perform quite well. Uh, the back of the blade, here's the choil shot. It gets pretty thin at the edge as well, so it's a high performance grind on it. Uh, let's see, blade height, uh, about 47 millimeters, 46.9 on this particular one. So it's got some height to it. Uh, there's a little bit of a curve here in the choil. Not a lot of room, but you got some spot there to put your finger for a pinch grip. Um, and then uh, the balance point, this handle is a uh, octagonal oak handle with what they call an orushi or burnt finish on it, which looks pretty cool. So it's a one piece handle. Uh, the balance point with this handle, oak's pretty heavy and the knife's pretty light. So that balance point is kind of about where that choil is, the back of the blade right there. So it's definitely going to be a little handle heavy on a pinch grip, but it's, it's a light blade overall. So that's not a big deal, but it is a little handle heavy for a pinch grip. Uh, let's see, the handle on this particular one, uh, they don't really have it sealed up at all where the tang goes into the handle, so you'll want to seal that up with something. Some people use beeswax, some people use epoxy, some people use a silicone sealer, or something to keep water out of there, keep moisture out of it. So I highly recommend doing that first thing before you do anything else with a knife. Um, let's see, out of the box edge, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. It's pretty dull on the back half and kind of reasonably sharp on the front half. That could be the lacquer. Sometimes the lacquer, lacquer goes all the way to the uh, edge of the, you know, the edge bevel on it. But uh, you could definitely get this thing really sharp uh, out of the box. You'll have to do a little work on it. Uh, the finish has um, embossed kanji on it on the right side of the blade. Here's your Kuduuchi or KU finish. You can definitely see some characteristic blacksmith marks, hammering and such. Here is an embossed symbol on the left side of the blade. This is a kind of a sandblasted uh, finish here on the grind that goes down towards the edge. They've relieved a little bit of the corners of the spine and they've done a fair amount of relief on the left side of the blade here at the choil. Not too much on the right, or I should say on the right side of the blade, not too much on the left side of the blade. Um, so probably not too bad. I'm a lefty so sometimes I'm a little more aware of this, but uh, a righty, they've relieved that a bit already, so should be good to go. Uh, let's see. I'd say fit and finish overall is pretty good on these. The edge profile has a bit of a hump in it, which could be pretty easily remedied with a little work on a cutting board. I'm sorry, not sharpening stone, since I'm handling the cutting board. So here's the edge profile. This is a really low tip compared to a lot of Santoku, so this is really flat profile. And so I'm not going to rock this much because that tip starts digging in right off the bat. You can see again how low that tip is to the center line. Even for most Santokus, that's pretty low. So this will definitely be more of a chopper. Push-pull cuts, glide cuts. The tip draws are going to be easy, super easy on this thing. Um, it does have a bit of a hump right here 
in the edge profile that would be pretty easy to take that out a little bit to kind of smooth out the profile but it definitely has a little hump right there that you kind of get over the top of but overall a very flat profile so if you're looking for something to learn how to sharpen with this would be a great uh, knife the tip is low so you don't need to uh, work a curve at the tip very very much uh, you know like a lot of knives so that's a little bit easier to learn on you don't have to lift your elbow so much or you know work the knife as much uh, the steel is super easy to sharpen and will hold a decent edge but these are so easy to sharpen you'll probably say I'm going to sharpen that keep it really razor sharp so this would be a really great knife to learn on as well and the performance should be pretty good based on the characteristics I'm seeing here so this is the uh, Karaku Aogami or blue number one Santoku 165mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.